my cars on my cold. Like I'm on the block with a tan roof. I'm on the block, block, no hoops. Bitches to rock, feel like. Swaggy with and Hall of Fame TV saying hello with one of arguably one of my favorite players in Carter High School history. This guy here has did wonders. And do y'all singer, six seven guard, chance period. Chance. Yes, sir. First thing first, man. Uh congratulations on the SMU commit. Thank you. Um, you welcome. Okay, besides uh Andre Emmett and select others. It ain't been that many players we had <clears throat> go D1. Right. So how does it feel joining that class? I mean, that was really my goal, to make sure I go D1, make sure I go to a good school. But other than that, I mean, I feel like that's something that had to be done. It wasn't, I wasn't trying to set up for this. So it just had to be done. It's something I always wanted to tell you, personally myself. Last year, I think, what, what, what made you one of the most decorated players in Carter history is you put your team on, on, on your back last year in the playoffs with a, with a fractured hand. That, that speaks volumes. I know a lot of other kids, even NBA players for that matter, right. who will sit out. You actually put your team on your back and you did a hell of a job. Right. Take, take me back to last year. Um, just how did it feel? I mean, it felt good, honestly, just having, like, with the help of Kyle Gibbons, Devin Lewis, Reese Bell. I mean, those three seniors really kept us in check, but I know that they needed me, really, you know. So, when my team needed me, I'm going to be there regardless. I really didn't want to let them down or watch them go down without me. I want to go, like, if we go down or up, I want to be right there with them. So, you also been in the media this week for your uh, outstanding alley-oop from last week. Have you uh, seen any of it? Yeah, I've seen it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, by the way, y'all, go vote. Uh, chance period, you're done. I think I'm winning the vote, right? Now. You are winning it. Yeah. Well, y'all, uh, keep voting out there, y'all. If y'all heard this, y'all keep voting. We got till Sunday. Keep going, please. <laughs> uh, last question, man. Like I asked um, your teammate Cole and your coach Love, <clears throat> I'm ask you the same. This your fourth year. Right. Um, you done it all, man. You a thousand points, district championships. You right. done it all. It's that one thing that eludes you. That one thing that'll loot you, and that's that state championship. Right. And you know where that road leads. Right. Is this the year that Chance Perrier, Cole Williams, Daniel Thomas put their name in the record book at Carter High School and say, we're getting over that hump? Yes, sir. 2024 should be that year. For sure. I like to hear that. Hey, once again, Swaggy Wit, Hall of Fame TV, you hear loud, one of my favorite players ever. Five, baby, what I call him. I call him five. Yes, sir. Chance baby. period. Appreciate the chance. Yes, what you gonna do today, man? What you gonna do today? Introduce yourself. Daniel uh, Thomas, I don't know. You sure ready to do I've been, I've been saying a couple of your highlights, man. You've been jamming on that rim, man. You think you can get a couple of hoops of uh, dunks today? Yeah, I got you. You are now watching Hollow Fine TV. Just come outside for the night. Take your time. Get your life. Try to die. Man. I'm a king. The career is more at stake when you in your prime. 
paper, baby, my face on the dotted line. I've been flying out of town for some peace of mind. It's like always, they just want a peace of mind. I've been focused on the future, never on right now. But I'm sipping that kombucha, either pink or brown. I'm the one that introduced you to the you right now. Oh my God. Swaggy way to holla if I ain't sitting here live with Carter High School's 6'9 post, Mr. Daniel Thomas, senior. Daniel, I've been knowing you for four years. I watched you grow. Um, I think you one of those stories when you leave this high school of just went from just that man on uh, JV to just a monster now. Um, Explain your four years to you, man, your growth. How you feel you grew in four years? Uh, I'd probably say, like, a lot of change, a lot of getting used to uh, being uncomfortable. Uh, as a freshman coming in, it was hard trying to adjust to the faster play. Uh, then, you know, 10th grade year come around, just uh, got a little used to it, and just hit the ground running, just uh, ready to play my part for the older guys, and now I'm seeing I'm the older guy, leader, and uh, just trying to show, do right for them, for the next generation. Well, I feel personally, man, this year, you have really, really stepped up huge. Last year, you, you, you did great. This year, I feel like you put, like I told Cole, you put a lot of colleges, you put a lot of uh, people on the map. Um, I feel like you chance, <clears throat> you chance and Cole, are probably arguably the best big three in the state. That's just my opinion. Um, how does it, how, I mean, how has it been playing with those two um, throughout your career? Uh, I'd probably say just easy. They just made it easy. Just playing with them since seventh grade. Just uh, a lot of get used to. Uh, comfortable. Like, they know what I like to do. I, like, I know what they like to do. Just like, I don't know, just like brothers, like playing with my brother. Speaking of brother, the, the term brother, brotherhood, what did that mean to you? Uh, just like camaraderie, like just a lot of together. Like like we say, togetherness, like just we got, I got they back, they got mine. Like just, we're here for each other. And my last question for you, the same thing I asked Mr. Perrier, same thing I asked Mr. Williams, I'm about to ask you the same. You done battled and battled and battled for four years. This is your fourth year, this is it. This yeah. is your last ride. When that clock hits zero in any other game in the playoffs, it could be the last. Will your season end in San Antonio, Texas? Yes, sir. For sure. I love to hear that. Swag it with Hall of Fame. Live, Carter High School, Daniel Thomas. <laughs>
uh, a lot of experts say this is the year. This is the year that you guys get it done. Do you believe? Do you believe in your mind and you feel in your heart? This is the year y'all get it done. It's a whole heart as I feel that. All right, this has been Cole Williams, Dallas Carter High. Swaggy Whip. Thank you sitting her live with Hall of Fame TV. Sitting her live with outstanding 6'2 freshman guard from Dallas Carter High School, Amarian White Boy Hunter. First of all, I gotta ask the question. Where did the name White Boy come from? Um, it was just, I was, I mean, I just had to, I already don't know where it came from. I, was just, I guess I was like, like a kid around, everybody just started calling me White Boy. Cause I was little. And man, um, I'm, I myself personally have been on my own media, and I've been saying that I'm comparing you to a freshman, Byron Eaton. Are you familiar with Byron Eaton? Will he the freshman? Yeah, I know. I know who Byron Eaton is. I feel like you have Byron Eaton characteristics. I feel like you are that man. Uh, how your freshman year been? This year for you? It's been good. At first, it was kind of a little rocky, but it's really getting easy now. Okay. Yeah, easy now. Uh, you've been a lights out shooter this year, man. Uh, you've been a really, really key addition to a squad that already features Chance Perrier, Daniel Thomas, Cole Williams. Uh, a lot of people feel like that you are that that missing link uh, that filled the shoes of uh, Devin Lewis, who was an outstanding shooter last year. Uh, do you know anything about Devin Lewis from last year? Yeah, I know a thing about Devin Lewis. I came here, you know, outside, outside in the summer. You know what's up. Okay. And last question. Do you find this is y'all year? Yeah, this our year. This, this our year, the year after that. All the years I'm here, all year. I'm getting fun with them. Hey, y'all out there listening. Remember this name, Amarian Hunter. He's only a freshman. Hey, the sky is the limit. It's been Swaggy Wit and Hall of Fame TV Live. Appreciate you. I'm in that link, Molly my bean, a rock your name, Molly my bean, Molly my bean, Molly my bean, I'm in the link, 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 I'm in the Swaggy with Hall of Fame standing here live with Coach Lyndon Love of Dallas Carter High School, who is currently the number four team in the state of Texas. Coach Love, um, let's start with the district, man. Uh, tonight you're facing Dallas Lincoln. You're pretty much going for your fifth straight district championship. Is it five? Five. It'll be five in a row. Okay. It'll be five in a row, by the oh, way. You're behind. <laughs> uh, last year you had a chance to go undefeated, but Pinkston came in and stole one. So this year you sit at seven and zero. Um, a lot of experts saying a win tonight, it'll, it'll be 8-0 and, and pretty much it'll be 10-0 and 0 by next week. So how do you feel about going after your fifth district trade championship? Man, you know, uh, those district championships, it's, it's not about me. It's about the community. It's about the kids. Uh, it's about the school. You know, it, it's a blessing to get that with the teams we play in the district that we play in. Uh, right now, we just, you know, we rolling. The kids are executing. They, they, they didn't bought in. 
and, and they've been here before, so I don't know about uh, the five, the five in a row, but uh, we just happy, <laughs> we just happy, man, to win a district championship. And uh, like speaking of which, of uh, the kids, let me, let me step away from the kids for a minute. Let me talk about something else that I think has really helped this program. Has been really special, and that's the addition of Coach Brandon Lewis. Um, tell me how special it is to add someone his caliber to your staff. Well, you know, you can't when you lose a guy like Cordell Hunter. You know, you can't replace him. Cordell Legend, great coach, great for the kids. But you know, I, once when he left, I was looking for another young guy like him. And actually, I offered him the job. He turned it down. So I, I went the I went the other route to his wife. Told his wife I had a job for him, and she she made him uh, come on on. But no, but it's been a blessing to have Brandon, man. Like I say, it's uh you know when you can walk out the gym and come back and it's still the same as you as you left it. Them type of coaches you want. And the kids love him. He do so much. He's been on the college level, so that really helps out with recruiting and because the way recruiting goes now for high school kids, it's, it's awful, man. So. We need all the blessing we can, and he's been a blessing for us. Four years ago, this outstanding senior class of uh, Cole Williams, Chance Perrier, Daniel Thompson, I mean, Dom Daniel Thomas, and others have walked in. Man, uh, we're down to our last two regular season games, mm -hmm. then it's the playoffs. Tell me how special it is it's been coaching those guys. Man, I hate to see them guys leave. Senior night is going to be special for them. Uh, like I said, they came in COVID year, so they really didn't have a freshman team. Uh, you know, Chance played on the board for all four years, of course. Cole and Daniel was on the JV. So we knew we, they was going to be pretty good by the time they got a little older. They had some older kids in front of them that was good, that taught them. But uh, Daniel, Cole, and, uh, and Chance, man, they're blessing the coach because they do a lot of things that you don't have to tell them to do. And they, you know, they're like coaches off the floor with the other kids. So when you get three guys like that, and uh, they just, and the great thing about them guys, they're all great students. So, you know, we push education here. So, it, it, like I say, these last four years have been a blessing with those guys. You know, you hate to see a group like that leave. And the last question I have for you, this is going to be the, the juggernaut. Uh, you know, the, all the experts out there are saying uh, that that team down the street is the team to beat. But a oh, lot of sure. other experts is also saying they believe this is the year. This is the team that they think that you have will get the job done. Do you believe this is the year? Did you guys get over the hump? I mean, every year we, we come in in August, it's only one goal, to win a state championship. We don't care who's in front of us, who's been doing this, who's been doing that, but our goal is to win a state championship. And whoever's uh, in our way to do it, you know, they got to go down. You know, it's, you know, we're not bragging about it. It's just, you know, the confidence that we have in our guys, the work they put in. And like I said, we don't come in to play for second. So, yeah, we we looking to win a state championship this year. Oh, yeah, I do have one more. Tell me how special that freshman Amarion Hunter has been this year for you. Man, get a kid like that to come in and, and play the level he plays at and, and in the competition we play against, you know, again, he's another special kid. And uh, a lot of things you don't have to tell him. You know, he, he came in, bought into the system, and then he has some big brothers to help him, though. So, but yeah, Amarion's a special talent. We, you know, we're happy to have him. Uh, like I said, he's another big time Carter Cowboy. Uh, I say, not just him though. The class, that freshman class, is really yeah. really good. Coach Lewis does a great. I don't think they've lost in yeah. about two months. So the class is really well, but he's just that much better. So you know, we're, we're happy to have him, and uh, we look for special things for him. And that's another testament I also want to say about Coach Lewis. Uh, he came in last year, and that freshman class last year was outstanding. I believe they went uh, went third place versus Pinkston in the freshman term. And I think, like you said, this year. They have not lost, so mm -hmm. that's just a testament of what kind of coach he is. And right. the future is very bright at Carter High School. Very bright. This has been Swaggy Wit, live with Hall of Fame. Coach Lyndon Love, we out.
to my side. The hot you ring, you ring, Philly. <laughs> if I can't do this, I'ma get your man. Might spend the block up in the lamp. Uh, yup, I'm from South Memphis, but it's like Afghanistan. Yup, yeah, I'm ten toes down. I get put yeah. in the ground. Yeah. Yeah, just had a talk with fat. We still like with you clowns. Yeah. I got racks on racks on racks. This yeah. keep piling. Yeah, if you ain't talking about no racks on racks, then move around. Yeah, if you ain't talking about no racks on racks, then move around.
Jason, your Barter Cowboy 66. Alright guys, three, two, one. What do you say?